So hello, friends and followers. Here's a video that I think shortwave listeners and hams might enjoy and anybody who has interest in antennas and radio. So here's the uh, Drake TR7 and here's an antenna tuner that I bought a while back, but I just never broke it out of the box. Anyway, as many of you know, I have this crummy, still have this crummy long, long wire antenna that is 240 feet long. It goes out the window and up to a palm tree. I did basically fix this antenna a bit better in that it doesn't really hit the house anymore. Um, I don't know if I can show what's going on. There's a wall out here. Anyway, the antenna deflects off an insulator on the wall now and it basically doesn't hit the house. I don't have a way of putting it through here very well yet. I just used some some little bit of lens cleaning cloth to make the wire not short against the uh, window frame, and that seems to work somewhat. So I just listen right now. I don't transmit anyway. So besides all that, what I found is this antenna tuner is really quite useful. So say here I'm on five megahertz, and I take the antenna tuner to a direct connection. So I basically say this thing is not being used direct to the antenna like that and if I tune the radio here to some noisy part you'll see the S meter is reading about there if I can get it and the noise level is important to know how well you're receiving signals so if I then tune the antenna tuner to 80 meters here and I'm on 5 megahertz. And then I can tune this knob here for an increase in signal. So you can see that I'm tuning here. It's going up somewhat. So that's what I've been doing. I've been using the antenna tuner to tune the noise level up higher. Let's see if I can get that in there now. It's not going to work. Anyway, this is what I've been doing. And it's been quite effective. So I don't have a well impedance match antenna on my radio, but using a tuner, it really brings up the levels. And sure enough, if I go to WV here, coming in pretty good and if I go to direct here and take the tuner out it drops it immensely so pretty happy with that let's check the uh, signal on, on 10 megacycles so 10 megacycles we'll go there now and we'll check it right there okay now I'll move off frequency to get some static noise here and right now, I have that, 40 meters, let's try that, that's better, let's peak it, so that peaks about there. Take a look at the signal now. It's saying 10 over. And let's go direct. So I'm going to go direct now to here without the tuner. Takes it down a bit. There's direct, there's 40 meters. So I get about two S units of improvement on that. That's pretty impressive. Forty meters, let's say twenty. Did that work? 
No. Okay, so anyway, if I go to 15 meters now, and let's tune for noise on 20 here. That kind of goes all the way down. That tunes a bit. Nothing with reactive here at all. So with resistive, I'm getting something here. Okay. Let's try the signal now. Okay, that's on the 20 meter on the tuner here. And we're at 15 megahertz. If I go direct, let's try that. It's fading a lot. That's direct. Let's go back to 20 meters here. That's an improvement, so. So my conclusion is the antenna tuner is matching the impedance of this antenna. I think with an open wire, the impedance is very high, I'm, I'm guessing, but and it's end fed, so it would have a high impedance. So that's useful to receive. I kind of heard that would work, and it seems to. Anyway, that's about it. Oh yeah, it works on 42 actually. Let's try that. There's 40 meters. There's 40 meters. There's some noise. Let's tune it for max noise here. There we go. And how about this one? Okay. There we go. And... There's always somebody here talking down here. Let's peek it up. Wow. Alright. Let's go direct again. Anyway, that, that makes a little bit of difference. I, I'm not sure if it's worth even fussing with. Maybe for a weak signal, I'm not sure if it just brings up the noise and the signal, or maybe the signal, but it does bring up the uh, receive level, that's for sure. All right, well, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Stay safe, pray for Ukraine, pray for democracy, pray that we can do action and not get ourselves killed here in the USA with nukes. Have a great day.